भिदते हृदय ग्रंथी छेदे सर्वशंशय कियंते चर्मा दृष्टो मेवात्मनीश्वरी भिदते हृदय ग्रंथी छेदे सर्वशंशय क्षीयते चर्मा दृष्टमेवात्मनीश्वरे गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट एक्चुअल दैट एक्चुअल एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट दैट काइंड ऑफ डिस्कवरी हाउ यू कैन गेट दैट एक्चुअल एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट हाउ यू कैन गेट दैट एक्चुअल सत्य वस्तु एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ हाउ यू कैन गेट दैट प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट सविशेष विग्रह दैट भगवान हिमसेल्फ इज द एक्चुअल एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ that only and only that who is the cause of all the causes who is the cause of all the causes who which is already written in brahma samhita that actual absolute truth is self manifested object actual absolute truth is self manifested object uh, forcefully you cannot cannot uh, get that manifestation of that absolute truth this is self manifested object you cannot forcefully uh, manifest that object in front of you that absolute truth is self manifested object and this is not at all achetan this is not at all uh, inert every every it is the actual cause of all the chetan objects that is a topmost param chetan object this about in the upanishad also it is written nitto nitya nam chetano chetananam eko bahunam jo vidyadati kama nitto nitya nam chetano chetananam eko bahunam jo vidyadati kama this shlok is already written here by this shloka it means here that all the chetan vats objects that infinity uh, source is that absolute truth only whatever you see that bhagwan that is the topmost absolute truth that is the actual cause of all the causes that actual satya actual absolute truth this is self manifested it is not at all inert but that is topmost chetan transcendental in nature so all the time transcendental he swam with that absolute truth only he swam self manifested object that is that actual absolute actual object this he is actually manifesting himself hamara jo that our jitna sare whatever material experiences are there with us jitna sare whatever material experiences we are having in this material life this is all kind of abhigyata all this material experiences which i have made this by aroha pantha i cannot get that uh, actual absolute truth by that at all that uh, abhigyata what our material experience or material bank is there of experience by that uh, actual flow of abhigyata that aroha pantha that pathway of aroha that that absolute truth you cannot get at all in your life absolute truth cannot be it is not it is not three dimensional that it is not three dimensional at all that actual absolute truth it is not at all in that third dimensional it is not at all there in the third dimensional at all that absolute truth whatever thing is there that uh, it's in the three, which is three dimensional in nature it comes in the three dimensional it means the actual meaning behind this is that 
that it is just a kind of a measurable object you can understand this is just a measurable thing which you can measure so that third dimensional which is all those objects coming in three dimensions that is actually measurable objects you can measure that this actually actually the things objects for our enjoyment you can enjoy that according to yourself that those things we can which you can measure them those things which are measurable those who you can measure those that is actually maya like the case from in order to see sun god in order to see sun god that our on our eyes we just need to uh, erase the curtain in order to see sun god we just need to erase the actual uh, uh, actual curtain of our eyes the darkness of our eyes we have to remove that in the same way that actual uh, absolute truth in order to just establish that inside our heart that kind from inner eyes that achintya shakti we just need to develop that so that we can see that absolute truth completely it is very much important sun god like the case in order to see sun god that the upper curtain of our eyes we just need to remove in the same manner like the same way that in order to get that absolute truth inside our heart that we just need to that conception of absolute truth if in order to grow that inside our heart that inside whatever achintya atindriya shakti we should have to develop that kind of exposure is required in order to then only we can expect to see that absolute truth completely that at the night time at night time like the case uh, forcefully you want to see the sun uh, sun god if you are making all the efforts to see sun god in the night time then it is all useless that even infinity torch or infinity light and megawatt lights also you are uh, uh, emitting but by still that you cannot see sun god at all this kind of all efforts to see sun god in the in the night time it's just one kind of madness you cannot see sun god in da- in night time and when sun god and when sun god is actually going uh, is rising in the east when sun god is actually rising in the east east direction at that time we don't need any kind of requ- don't require any kind of light whatever megawatt power light we are having we don't require that why because at that time sun god that kind of light which is uh, that sunlight from the sun god which is coming by that light we can see all the material world very easily by that light given by sun god and we can also watch us as well and we can see sun god as well at the time by the by the actual power of sun god only actual light of sun god only we can see sun as well as ourselves as well so like this only so like this in this way that actual uh, satya absolute truth like this this our sense organs and material uh, are all uh, material sense organs whatever gyan we are getting knowledge that uh, according to that that transcendental world we can just understand of that aprakrit jagat it is not at all possible by this material knowledge of our sense organs so our material sense organs and this kind of capability of our material sense organs depending on our material experience we don't need to depend upon that that avrit anavrit avastha anavrit means that wholly surrendered fully in order to get that absolute truth anavrit that you just need to that that kind of avrit condition you just need to live that anavrit swarup that the actual anavrit swarup of that absolute truth in order to understand that only and only by the kripa of to get the support of pure guru vaishnav it is very much important see sadguru ka mukharo 
just uh, from the actual lotus mouth of Sri Sad Guru that all the time uninterrupted Hari Katha Kirtan you are hearing that kind of instructions and Hari Vani you are actually listening that is the actual pathway to get out of that and to see that absolute truth otherwise in any of the case no way no way out is there that kind of absolute truth you cannot get in your life at all you cannot understand what is absolute truth the actual vichar is that that i have already told you that brahma ji maharaj brahma ji maharaj is actually getting fully surrendered on to lotus feet of bhagwan and when he is actually uh, praying to bhagwan by with full surrender then only that absolute truth is getting manifested self manifested there automatically before that it is not at all possible that yesterday i was actually discussing on this point that uh, now brahma ji has done so much tapasya mantra and he has done and mantra jap tapasya after doing so much mantra jap and tapasya bhagwan actually getting satisfied with brahma ji and he said by getting satisfaction from brahma ji he is actually just giving that he is giving everything he is giving darshan of everything to brahma ji maharaj like the first shlok i have already started with that whatever the granthi is there all the bondage inside his heart that all kind of anarth inside his heart that all granthi that amita mamata all kind of different different uh, granthi with that kind of uh, contamination or barrier inside is avidya asmita amata mamata everything this is called all uh, unknowledgeable avidya granthi barrier in the way of that absolute knowledge that in the way of that absolute truth in order to get that darshan of that absolute truth whatever kind of uh, unknowledgeableness or uh, kind of agyan or avidya it automatically will get destroyed completely nothing will remain inside your heart that absolute param vastu just by taking the darshan of that everything will get destroyed completely from your heart all kind of avidya tha. so i have already told you yesterday that gayatri mantra by that gayatri mantra that brahma ji maharaj has got that topmost siddhi in his life by that gayatri is gayatri actually is, is a prakrit kaam gayatri about that i have already told you that from the starting till the end that of the kaam gayatri that actual vishay of kaam gayatri it's very much uh, hidden and secret vishay that gayatri have already told you that brahma ji mara already got the uh, dwij sanskar the second birth he already got and brahma ji has got that kaam gayatri that uh, from that ast ast dakshakshar mantra after getting that that gayatri you are getting that is called kaam gayatri and uh, kaam gayatri that everything is actually chinmay and chit vilasmay it is transcendental the actual meaning of kaam gayatri the actual dhyan and whatever meditation and focus all upadesha and instruction in this each and everything it is a very secret and hidden topmost secrecy is there in kaam gayatri kaam gayatri is everything in inside that that transcendental all uh, aprakrit chit vilasmay leela of bhagwan is there inside kaam gayatri and this about this that inner meaning of this in order to understand that yesterday i have just made some effort so that you can understand the inner meaning of kaam gayatri and this same gayatri in that shri shri gopijan vallabh that topmost 
दैट काइंड ऑफ टॉप मोस्ट सीक्रेट लीला इज देयर ऑल द टाइम एंड दैट सेम अप्राकृत मंगल यू कैन गेट दैट फ्रॉम दिस काम सीड दैट काम गायत्री दैट टू वर्ड्स कृष्णा आई विल बी फीलिंग दैट अट्रैक्शन नेचुरली that towards bhagwan i will be feeling attraction that trans transcendental uh, swarup that transcendental swarup and beauty and the youngness of bhagwan that i am feeling some attraction towards krishna that i just want to kiss bhagwan i just want to just uh, love bhagwan so this is very much important this for each and every jiva that is the topmost benefit apart from this nothing is more topmost than that that those all jeevas that same gayatri tatva they have actually got that definitely they have got that that def, def, they are actually getting that transcendental birth in the transcendental world kolok that all those material bonded jeevas this kind of material swabhav and nature what they are getting and anch and hereditary hereditary according to the hereditary factor whatever they are getting according to that that it is infinity times more uh, uh, advantageous that from aprakrit jagat that in order to get that uh, what kind of dwijat uh, what you are getting that in order to get in entry into the transcendental world that is more and more advantageous and topmost why because in that chit vishay in order to get entry into that that uh, you are getting that aprakrit uh, transcendental uh, birth by getting that dwijan matva bhav that all those bonded jeevas they are getting that topmost mangal in their life by getting that dwij 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 janma second birth that in gayatri whatever mantra is there in the gayatri in that the first that word omkar is there and there is swaha in that tat after that savitur after that varinyam after that bhargo is word is there devasya dhimahi dhiyo yo these words are there in gayatri here where jo ji whatever jeev where he is actually established from there we just need to start our journey here there is one prayer one humble request is there that there is one prayer and humble request what is that humble request this jeev goswami pad has just made one detailed description regarding this that uh, what is what does it mean actually jeev goswami pad actually speaking jeev goswami pad has already written that ye adhakritam akhyo gyanam indriyam gyanam jeno jin Hey, by that that the was to that this uh, sense my that this sense organs all, all material sense organs are just like faulty and full of errors it's all useless that in order to know that aprakrit transcendental world transcendental tatva paratwara kaleshwar bhagwan in order to understand that that our material material sense organs and material uh, knowledge and uh, lok bal money power man power everything is becoming useless that is called adhokshaj vastu this is actually all upper planetary systems and the lower planetary systems are all are lower planetary systems this this whole material world what you are getting the effulgence in that the first thing is that here is that that uh, all 
that everything Bhagwan actually spoke speaking in Gita that all the Vedas the actual Vedavastu the actual worshipable object is me only that all all Vedavid that Veda Karta Vedavid everything is me that the actual uh, doer of the Vedas and who is the knower of Veda everything is me Bhagwan speaking and in Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran also it is written that the actual meaning of the Ved the inner meaning of the Ved what it is in order to understand that whatever kind of efforts you are making in order to understand whether he will be Rishi Muni or whosoever he is but that he is Divya Surigan also but they are actually getting all uh, getting attracted towards that why? because that Vedas Ishwar they are not different from each other this whole material world is actually uh, enjoyable this material world this is actually all enjoy, enjoyable in nature it means this is an enjoying field where you can enjoy all the time this is called enjoying enjoyable enjoying field and and if some jeev wants to go above this enjoying field according to his own realization he just wants to go ahead in his life that topmost uh, slowly steadily he will be moving towards that so he can understand that all kind of material experience of this material world and material sense organs and feelings everything he just need to uh, uh, dump that only pure Guru Vaishnav can just throw that away normal person cannot so that's why this material world this is actually enjoying field and this enjoying when mood well it will be coming slowly steadily going down 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 then only he can gradually proceed up in the upper consciousness level like uh, that is just kind of a stool stool bhog means this is kind of external subtle enjoying mood that by this you are getting more and more fine enjoying mood in heaven definitely enjoying mood is there but it is that kind of uh, uh, definitely that is very dirty enjoying mood but still that uh, slowly steadily when you're enjoying mood will go slowly steadily uh, down you're going up in the satya lok that kind of enjoying mood that it will just become like very tasteless no taste will be there in that uh, satya lok and that same bhog now you 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 will be going towards that uh, uh, tyag tyag field now tyag means you will be getting towards the pathway of detachment this kind of material uh, enjoyment when you will be going up and up up till satya lok that it will become just like uh, close to detestfulness and you will just get detested by this material uh, uh, material enjoying enjoying mood and you will be going towards that absolute uh, tyag uh, detached detached phase and satya lok uh, when he is leaving satya lok after leaving satya lok he is going to viraja river and viraja that viraja the actual meaning of viraja means vigata raja it means that all the jivas if some dirty or some smell of dirt is there that V Raja it is just getting uh, vanquished and and quenched and uh, clenched there in Viraja river and then the jivatma can go ahead after just uh, going to Brahmalok Brahmalok means that Brahmefulgence where you can find Brahmefulgence and after that after that you can go to the Sadashiv Lok and stay and then again ahead you can go and after Sadashiv that is Vakunt Lok it's not different and then you will go ahead there slowly steadily you will move ahead gradually according to your bhav and swarup you will go ahead so satya lok just by leaving that you can go to virja and brahma lok and in brahma lok that whatever uh, he will just get established in brahma lok and there is actually no kind of material enjoying mood in brahma lok brahma lok means that Brahma Lok means that no enjoying mood is there of material. Material enjoying mood is not at all there at all. 
and this all seven upper planetary systems what you can see that by whom by whom these all material sense organs and this knowledge all the time you are thinking that it is all actually useless by those these all kind of material sense enjoyment and all material experiences are actually useless that is called adhokshya all together when you are taking that seven lokas that all those uh, all things are actually equivalent to useless things that savitri that which actually is manifesting that pracho that savitri is savitri this word this savita savita this word savita what do you mean by savita savita means that uh, he actually sudhatu is actually getting manifested is putting light on that sudhatu that sudhatu that is called savita which is uh, putting light on that savita means it is the actual name of a sun god savita is the name of sun god this savita this is not at all a female gender that we are actually having this misconception that whatever all these kind of words akarant words and these are all female gender words but it's not like that but here this savita word what we are using this savita word is actually a male gender word punarling savita means punarling means male gender word that sudhatu object is manifested putting light on that sudhatu word that prasa means who actually is doing prasa to who that is the actual uh, answer towards that that chetan actually is getting support from material uh, object only you be careful on that point this perception power that kind of realization power that without chetan vastu it is not at all possible chit vastu that kind of realization power what we are getting that uh, happiness sadness and gyan agyan this is if chetan vastu is there that's why it is having some meaning if chetan vastu is getting disappeared then it is of no use at all because because perception power uh, inert uh, jad vastu material things don't have at all so chetan vastu the transcendental uh, thing chet chetan object transcendental object that chetan this word chetan it is there inside our uh, inside inside us that same chetan that and material object and material uh, it is actually uh, putting light on that uh, uh, material uh, things manifesting and uh, putting light on that material things in gita also in bhagwan actually speaking that surya that sun god actually is in this brahmand is actually putting light on each and every infinity brahmand in the gita also bhagwan uh, surya narayan on this uh, material creation is putting light on that that's why surya the other name of sun god is savita in the gita there are actually two words maybe you have heard that about khetra and khetragya these two words are there what do you mean by khetra that khetra bhur bhuvas whatever this panchabhut five elements that by those five elements which is actually manifested by those five elements maybe my five element body made of this is also khetra and khetragya means about this those who have that knowledge about that khetra that is khetragya khetragya it means that our atma khetragya is of two types one is khetra one khetragya is parmatma and the other khetragya is that we had material uh, material knowledge he is actually taking up that is called jivatma
that whatever our this uh, subtle and gross conception that subtle and gross conception what we are having all actually is khetra that khetragya means that atma who is having that knowledge about that it means that sun god if we are actually comparing that with sun god why because like sun god actually whole material world is actually getting enlightened up by sun god in the same manner that our atma that is savita that is actually manifested if uh, uh, atma is there only that our whole material body subtle and gross conception is getting live liveliness we are getting manifested and lightened up khiti ap tej marudbam this uh, these are all objective words what we are getting and subjective and subjective world this all that kind of all realization we are getting by savita that is called chetan khetragya that means khetragya we are actually speaking savita to the khetragya that that is sun sun god is actually compared with savita and this savita actually that varanya vastu in this material world that <coughs> atma which is self manifested that varanya vastu of that that worshipable object which is actually worshipable object of that particular aradhya vastu that shibya that tat actually is explained here khetro ko ka shibo hai khetragya uh, actually is worshiped by bhag, that bhagavat tatva and this what is that tatva actually that <coughs> normally if you can see that we are having uh, darshan all the time that by our material sense organs which we are actually uh, thinking that is all all khetragya and that atma which is there in the khatragya the worshipable object of that atma the worshipable object for that particular atma that param khetragya is paramatma and normal uh, khetragya is atma that our jivatma is normal khetragya and the topmost uh, khetragya is paramatma on the actual field of that atma paramatma we just need to <coughs> that khetragya atma we just need to go on to that platform on to that chetra field of atma and bhagwan that is a worshipable object that who is actually getting worshiped and controlled by them those those who are actually control and uh, they are actually worshipable by that particular object that they are actually worshiping it all the time that they are worshiping it all the time that is actually worshipable object for them so this very topmost uh, siddhant in order to understand so bhargo means that you are actually compare it with chinmay dham bhargo means that lot of meanings are coming out of that word particular bhargo bhargo means chinmay dham jyotirmay dham full of effulgence bhargo means that effulgence that jyoti and that the light coming from that uh, effulgence that we can know about that uh, chetan uh, chit jagat in order to understand that we are actually making all kind of efforts and this bhargo means that is chinmay dham that which dham is that that which dev dev var dev that all those devatas who is the <coughs> god of all the demigods that devata it is actually that div datu from that that devata shab word has come that from that the div nilayam aur kirai devi ko hi to to mana parama sundari himba krishna kuya kirar vasati namo what actually written, written in chaitanya chritamrit krishnadas kaviraj goswami has already described this point 
that devata means that those who are actually topmost beautiful and full of leela maya leela he is having he is manifesting bhargo means that uh, that is his transcendental dham chit dham this is actually the field of seva for them this is actually the field of seva that the who is the actual master of that field that shrimati radharani is the actual master of that field that all the kind of sevas of which are actually worshipable by all the other atmas the actual master every every master of that uh, uh, master is uh, gopika that shrimati radhika ji that in that seva in that particular seva dasya vatsalya sakya all kind of rasas are already available in that and when you are cutting on the neutral platform then madhurras is the topmost and all the rasas are there present in that madhurras that's why when you come into on to that neutral platform then only you can understand and that seva mai dham that the topmost master of that seva mai dham the actual opulence and ashwarya of that seva mai dham that is shrimati radhika ji so like this <coughs> when you are actually uh, medi- meditating on this that you are actually meditating and focusing on that particular worshipable object it is one kind of uh, anushilan and a uh, surrender of your atma onto the lotus feet of uh, that worshipable object on about this in vedanta it is also written what actually is written in vedanta regarding that it's already written there in vedanta as well that uh, the transcendental the transcendental world that topmost meditative uh, worshipable object that it's from the uh, transcendental world that topmost uh, meditative worshipable object in what condition he has to go by uh, doing this kind of worship what will happen that uh, that our seva vritti that <coughs> the our worshipable our seva it will just goes on increasing day by day we will be increasing our seva vritti towards that worshipable object dio yono prachodayat inke seva mein santosh we will be just getting satisfied with their seva all the time and uh, whatever uh, seva kind of seva we will be just worshiping that and we'll get satisfied in their seva of that worshipable object and uh, i will be increasing my seva vritti more and more it will increase it will increase my seva vritti so like this if you see <coughs> this uh, that uh, this is the actual uh, about uh, we are telling it about the absolute truth only we are discussing it about absolute truth only that we are actually discussing about absolute truth only that topmost worshipable object that all kind of uh, that uh, all actually manifestation of the vedas what is actually glorified in the vedas everything that is only an only worshipable object for us that's it that is the supreme absolute truth so by this gayatri mantra that not about kam gayatri i am speaking i am speaking about brahma gayatri by this brahma gayatri we what we can do we can get out of this uh, material bondage and we can cut that material bondage very easily and can go away from this material world that what is our material bondage of this material world it will just get very much loosened up and so much power is there in brahma gayatri you see so this gayatri mantra it is actually manifesting the vedas and atho benu ninada shotrai murti mai murti murti mai gati hi spuranti pravivesha su mukha bijani swayam bhava gayatri gayatah tasmat adhikato sarojaja 
ब्रह्मा जी महाराज एक्चुअली दैट पर आत्म पर अखिलेश्वर भगवान वॉट बाय दैट दैट ही इज गेटिंग ही इज गेटिंग दैट संस्कार फ्रॉम भगवान एंड ही इज बिकमिंग ट्विज इज गॉट द सेकेंड बर्थ फ्रॉम भगवान इन द फॉर्म ऑफ गायत्री फ्रॉम भगवान डायरेक्टली एंड बिकम ट्वाइस बोर्न ब्रह्मा जी महाराज दैट that vedramatri the mother of ma the ve- the the mother of vedas that uh, shri krishna's uh, venu it is actually getting manifested in his venu and it is getting into the eight airs of brahma and then after that it is coming uh, uh, on to the lotus mouth of brahma that padma yoni that this kind of uh, song only this is coming in the form of gayatri and adi guru and bhagwan that it he is getting the dvijat from bhagwan by getting this gayatri and after that idhir vigyato tatva sagraha dushtavo vedu sarena stutrena anena kesham ei trai mai so that's same trai mai gayatri just by meditating and focusing on that gayatri that uh, brahma is getting on to that tatva sagar ocean of tatva he is getting deep into that and after that he is just glorifying krishna as the sarva ved sar and by that only all the time he is actually glorifying krishna and just by the stab and stuti of bhagwan he is actually glorifying bhagwan just by remembering kam gayatri that i am the krishna nitya dasi this kind of uh, <coughs> this kind of uh, introduction he got and krishna dasya whatever kind of deep uh, secret siddhant is there if he heaven has heaven got that but still that kind of chid and achid vivek that difference it is actually coming in his realization that by all the ved vakya it is actually getting manifested inside his heart automatically and uh, he is becoming knows the actual siddhant vichar of all the vedas of the ocean of all siddhant and he and it is actually based on this uh, topmost version of siddhant and that's why mahaprabhu actually is just uh, making this in front of us for our actual instruction so that we can get the actual instruction from brahm samhita and i have already discussed the first instruction of this uh, brahm samhita in front of you सुंदरंगम it means that's by uh, just by blowing his just by blowing his murli flute bhagwan he is actually inside he is having a very lotus eyes lotus like eyes and his uh, head is decorated with various diamonds and jewels a uh, prakrit jewels and diamonds and just like a fresh new cloud fresh new black cloud he has that transcendental beautiful body and has kandarva koti mohan infinity shobha vishishta that that adi purush govind i am actually worshiping that brahma ji mara speaking and glorifying bhagwan yesterday i have already discussed this point in front of you that golok that topmost kanti of golok that uh, topmost uh, shobha of krishna is getting uh, manifested that what brahma ji has got re- realization he is actually telling us practically bhagwan has just given him darshan and uh, just by not his own efforts he got darshan of bhagwan by his own efforts he hasn't seen anything at all brahma ji maharaj bhagwan actually he got the full kripa of bhagwan तथैव विज्ञानम विज्ञानम सुते मदनु 
he actually told that that by only bhagavat kripa he got the darshan that how my dham is by my, my naam what it is then you will get the actual information regarding that bhagwan speaking to brahma ji mad anugrahat means that just by getting my association my anugrah when you will get vibhu chetan is krishna and the swarup about when we are actually doing the vichar of the swarup that bhagwan has sachidanand mai vigrah means body transcendental body and whatever actually is attractive things in this material world what you can see in this all material creation all kind of enjoying and attractive beautiful things we are seeing that lot of material poets of this material creation they are actually writing this also that all these material poets of our material creation are also citing this point in front of us that that all this beautiful material creation and material world whatever actually is uh, uh, beautiful things are there or very nice uh, is giving us happiness that <coughs> infinity a uh, brahmand uh, beautifulness and attractiveness of this infinity brahmand that even if you taking one one uh, uh, sand particle like that just like honey bees you are collecting it as nectar that is the actual prakrit body of bhagwan but this is actually material uh, glorification this material poet actually is glorifying bhagwan it is all kind of infinity beautiful and attractive things whatever is giving you happiness each and every particle and att- for attractive thing you are taking from one one particle from that and then actually it equivalent to that krishna sondarya the actual beautifulness at the transcendental body of krishna but this is this is not the actual point bhagwan at krishna is actually transcendental in nature that's why in this material world that top most ramani vastu even they are actually just taking a very imagination of the krishna swarup and conception of krishna swarup that is not the actual uh, beautifulness that bank banking chandra chattopadhyay that uh, that kind of imaginary imaginary krishna what he has got that is not at all krishna that is just his material conception it is just one imaginary figure that's it this is one just kind of imaginary figure that bankim babu what he is actually making inside his mind or whether ravindana thakur you take the case they are actually all material kavi material poets what kind of uh, imagination power they are having by that they are actually just conception of krishna what they are getting that is not the actual conception what they are getting it is totally material in nature even in this material world or some kind of material creation by that you are actually comparing it with krishna then definitely krishna will become one enjoying uh, thing for you that krishna will become the object of our enjoyment it will be estimated by our limited senses so that is not at all possible that is that same bhagwan shri krishna that from same bhagwan shri krishna that infinity brahmand is getting manifested <coughs> that from bhagwan shri krishna that infinity uh, uh, knowledge of brahm is actually getting manifested in front of us that how you can uh, uh, by this knowledge you can uh, know him it is not at all possible by your material conception and by your material imaginary conception you cannot get the actual estimation of bhagwan what he is so that bhakti roop chit samadhi inside that brahma ji maharaj what he is seeing practically that actually is glorifying and practically uh, putting in front of us that uh, krishna is uh, the rarest of all the rarest diamond and and venu means that he is having the sachidanand vigraha krishna it is that top most worshipable transcendental object that that kind of lotus flower he is there on to the innermost portion and his eyes are just like as good as lotus flower lotus flower his eyes are compared with that and bhagwan his eyes is just equivalent to the lotus flowers and his uh, and his face is just compared with the topmost moon and uh, his head is just decorated just like a peacock 
with full of rare diamonds and he is actually just uh, neel make just his uh, uh, giving his uh, transcendental body he is just as like a new black cloud and that chin my shamal varna that is a topmost black just like a new black cloud that color is actually comparable with the actual transcendental body of krishna and after that the shlok what it is given here by this shlok i have already told you yesterday what is that that who that topmost garland is there onto the transcendental body of krishna and very rare rare diamonds are there onto his head and onto his transcendental body and that same bhagwan with always with sporty mood he is just uh, having that sporty mood all the time and lalit tribhang three uh, bend figure swarup that that uh, all the gopikas actually are the actual pran of all the gopikas that uh, govin i am actually calling and worship him, worshiping him from inside that actually is getting uh, having getting a brief description of regarding this that chin my dham which is chintamani govindadi chin my dham and uh, which is there or oh, that inside the venu that uh, from the whole of that venu it is just coming that uh, chinmay nitya swarup is manifesting in front of us and in this shloka same that kind of transcendental swarup that all the 64 kinds of uh, different uh, seva swarup actually is getting manifested in that that this uh, word this kind of uh, business regarding chid 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 the conception is getting the, is actually possible and it is actually those who are actually in the material conception of their life they cannot understand about that transcendental transcendental vishay of that govind and after that the actual shlok what brahma ji maharaj himself speaking that shloka what is that shlok here in this material world about this material world that kind of material conception it is not at all going to stand at all so in that's why it is actually getting destroyed and vanquished here what brahma ji maharaj that kind of material conception which is actually increasing which is actually coming in front of us he is actually just speaking and compared it that it is totally useless and that's why he is actually speaking about that that so what he is speaking What actually it's written here? Bale angani yasho shakalendiya vitti manti Vashanti panti kalayanti chiram jaganti Anand Anand chinmaya rasu Anand chinmaya sadujjala vigrahasya Anand chinmaya sadujjala vigrahasya Gavindamadi purusham tamam vajami अंगानी 
सदुज्जल Here actually Brahma ji speaking that all kind of material conception in this material world what you can find in order to just destroy that completely this shlok actually he has discovered that Brahma Brahma ji ka Brahma ji that is the actual uh, actual vichar of Brahma ji Maharaj by that that all kind of material conception of this material world that is totally you just need to destroy that that same adi purush govind i am actually worshiping him that whose vigray his anandamay chidanandamay his vigray is chidanandamay and is actually that is swarup is sachidanandamay in nature so this uh, actually is vigra is param ujjal this is actually param ujjal by that of this vigra inside this vigra hai that all kinds of uh, uh, <coughs> ang and pratang of bhagwan and bodily limbs of bhagwan and body related limbs of bhagwan that uh, each and every material sense organ you have an understand what i am speaking means that uh, the chin may vigra of bhagwan which is sachidanand vigra in that vigra of all all kind of symptoms or uh, things you are finding whatever you are finding in the vigra of bhagwan transcendental vigra that uh, kind of um, uh, indragram that is uh, all sense organs are also transcendental and uh, the one indriya can do the work of other indriya you understand the point what i am speaking one indriya very easily he can work uh, here it means that bhagwan here by the eyes bhagwan can take prasadam and by his ears bhagwan can see so everything bhagwan can do because bhagwan is unlimited because he is actually transcendental object so bhagwan is not at all matter at all bhagwan has a, his transcendental dham and transcendental body and if nobody actually believing this then how it is possible that bhagwan has transcended that the one indriya can do the work of other indriya that bhagwan can easily listen by his eyes and by the ears bhagwan can eat everything is possible this is the actual belief what we should have we don't have this kind of desire that we can we can have full faith on this point what brahma ji mara speaking but in this material creation of material world in this material world i'll give you one example regarding that in this material world i will just give you one example regarding this if you can see one example that snake you have already seen that snake you have seen the ears of snake huh? have you seen the ears of snake the hearing organ of uh, snake you have seen that no no maharaj i haven't seen the ears of snake at all why you haven't seen nobody has seen that how he can see <coughs> how he can see that snake definitely has no ears at all bus by a by eyes he can hear very easily by his eyes only he can get the hearing capacity that uh, separately hearing or organ is not at all there in snake so that's why snake's name is akrishava that by his eyes he can see and he can hear both the things he can do okishrava that is the name in sanskrit so that same govind adi purush i am actually doing the bhajan of that same govind adi purush that who has that sachidanand mai param ujwal that uh, whatever vigrah inside whatever vigrah are there or material sense organs are there that uh, that one uh, sense organ can do the work of other sense organ that each and every sense organ of bhagwan can do the work of other sense organ and each and every sense organ i am not speaking about other sense organ the other sense organs that vishay will be he can have 
<coughs> you can get the realization of that tat as well like by our eyes only we can see that's it we can't do anything else apart from our eyes we cannot eat by our eyes at all it is not at all possible for us but for bhagwan by his eyes he can easily eat as well everything is possible for bhagwan that's why that material world whatever kind of material people are there in this material world they don't have this kind of faith in this that just by seeing the leela of bhagwan and just see the acharan of bhagwan then the the what all ras leela etc they are thinking that all material it is that very foolish which are is there inside material people material individual jeevas that krishna leela when they are hearing krishna leela that if some material person are also thinking that uh, they are actually thinking this is just night kind of uh, imaginary love story <laughs> so this is the actual uh, having vichar of this krishna tatva that that kind of misconception in order to vanquish that completely brahma ji by this shloka actually speaking everything in that shloka and maybe in the coming shloka bhagwa uh, brahma ji maharaj speaking that in tatvik swarup how you can get that in order to understand that bhav brahma ji maharaj actually is making that effort the actual vishaya brahma that what brahma ji maharaj what actually brahma ji maharaj wants to speak he wants to speak that krishna vigra is sachidananda may and all kind of material creation related to the material world that whatever there in this material world that is actually jam jadantam may vritti transformation of rajogunantam mogun so what is the actual difference between these two things that is very much important to understand so this kind of uh, special vilakshan when that it is there that mool tatva is only that 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 is the actual worshipable mool object to worship the actual <coughs> difference and the speciality is already there the speciality and difference is all the time present there in that automatically it means that it means that same vigra inside that vigra that only one adya gyan tatva is there but in by that infinity vachitra it is actually decorated by that unity in diversity or diversity in unity that krishna chinmay dham chinmay swarup gun leela everything is there that uh, top most uh, chit, chit buddhi vishishta that is actually free from maya that uh, chit buddhi vishishta he is actually uh, having no relationship with maya at all that leela in order to taste that leela he can taste that transcendental leela of bhagwan very easily that chit dham chit shakti uh, manifestation of that chit shakti and the chintamani gatita ch- that krishna vigra is top most in my and the actual shadow of chit shakti you can see maya shakti you can see maya shakti and uh, that is actually which is related to maya that chit shakti but just like uh, maya shakti shadow of the chit shakti in the same way that kind of uh, diversity with maya is all, from all the direction there is actually getting attraction that is kind of the actual glorification of the transcendental world this is just one perverted reflection from the transcendental world what we can see in this material world so that kind of chit tatva vichitra da glorification of chit tatva that mayavadi people are not at all understanding that chit tatva that mayavadi people are not at all understanding the chit tatva at all so that's why 
that Chaitanya Tattva Bhashan in this material world you cannot see that at all. That, that all the kind of diversity and speciality or especially of that uh, transcendental world and uh, material world it looks all the same externally but that kind of topmost darshan of knowledge it should remain the same it looks like the same but it is not at all same why because this difference and speciality this is actually becoming one and the same from externally but uh, one kind of speciality is actually there with the other one as well so like this everything is going on so the paraksha rakshan that uh, of this material world that matter what is available in this material world this is that is actually heo heo object that material world heo that kind of heo to of this material world that is the actual problem of this material world because in the, but in the transcendental world it is just not one kind of dosh at all you just be careful on this point what i am speaking that in this material world whatever object you want to take but you are that some kind of inferiority complex just got but in uh, aprakri jagat this is not at all there at all that aprakri jagat there is uh, there is no object uh, you can throw the shloka which i was actually reading in that there is no fruit no salt no gutli is there no seed is there only fruit is there and definitely in the fruit there is one kind of gutli is there in the mango but no he could understand it means there is no thing you can just stop and uh, just uh, take this is actually was this is parijit from that vastu for each and every material creation also you can see that kind of uh, diversity and speciality but whatever speciality and diversity you can find in that material uh, transcendental world all diversity and speciality is actually absolute and uh, no nothing is actually material and temporary that krishna's atma and body is not at all different from each other like the case that our atma is different our body is different for us that our body is different our atma is different and his body also different but bhagwan that each and every dust particle of bhagwan that is all the same that is pure topmost pure topmost paripurnity that krishna atma and his body is not different from each other up till this point also in other gender to that all these tat you just need to take that like panchatat atma krishna this i have already told you in chaitanya chaitanya mahaprabhu has told what is that that for ram chandra ji ram lakshman bharat shatrugan all they are actually getting uh, manifested in this material world that in four different forms so it looks like that it is different bharat is diff- looking different ram chandra ji is looking different and shatrugan is actually looking different from bharat ji everyone is actually different but they are not at all uru uh, pattern the even hanuman ji maharaj also it is actually coming into ram tattva only so it is not different from shambhu tattva and all you are taking that will become adhyay gyan tattva all sita devi every shakti when you will take it is all adhyay gyan tattva but no, persons are not at all understanding this point at all so in this material world what kind of excellency is there and what are kind of difference is there and of this material world just by seeing that externally you can see it is actually paraspar bilam looks very strange but definitely in this material world that is actually so much inferior of the with the transcendental world <coughs> like bhagwat ji mahapuran it's already written abhi kabhi koi dekha hai koi to have someone actually seen the actual kalit phal actually fruit of kali someone has seen but here actually it's written here kalpatarur kalitam phal isme koi gutli chilka kuch nahi there is actually no fruit no gutli no seed is there inside it. and if some person is thinking that maharaj 
that uh, this is just one kind of philosophy that's it or yes it is philosophy but still this is actually practical philosophy then philosophy philosophy also there is one categorization and division like uh, our version of darshan first one darshan means translation if you do the translation of darshan but this material world whatever kind of against things what we can find in this material world and our bhagavad ji is on the one point no not at all bhagavad darshan bhagavad darshan what is there that inside that what darshan is there there is actually reality in that absolute reality is there in that but otherwise whatever darshan which are what the other persons are having it is no reality at all at in this it is all temporary purpose there is no reality at all nothing they will do at all that this whole material world going to be get destroyed and we just need to die that everybody has to die and ultimately we just need to die so this is not the case that's why that a transcendental world that kind of difference and speciality and diversity and excellence definitely is there but that is very top most uh, absolute thing is there inside that that krishna atma and krishna sarir is now is not different from each other the lotus feet uh, lotus particle from the uh, lotus feet of krishna maybe that is also transcendental nature maybe for our infinity brahmand is actually infinity he was the one uh, transcendental uh, sand particle from the lotus feet of gurudev that is actually a prakrit just particle but in infinity brahmand also if all those uh, 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 brahmand are there by that that you will that it uh, the vacuum jagat one uh, dust particle will be more and more heavier than this uh, infinity material creation it will become more and more heavy it has some <coughs> it has that absolute background that vacuum dust particle also it has that absolute back uh, platform maybe our infinity brahmand that uh, all together if we are just taking but still it, you cannot compare it with that at all it is not all possible to do uh, this kind of uh, thing so krishna's atma and body and krishna's body and atma is all the same it is not at all different at all and for all the material jeevas their atma and their parmatma is different but in chit swarup deha dehi anga angi dharma dharmi there is no uh, difference in that but uh, in jad pad jeev definitely this deho dehi dharma dharmi this is there when your krishna karmi that each and every ang of krishna you have an understand what i am speaking that bhagwan shri krishna's that even one uh, transcendental nail that is also complete that in uh, that incomplete vastu nothing incomplete can stay at all about this in the upanishad it's already written this conception this is not just a philosophy which you are understanding this conception this is not at all external uh, philosophy at all if you are getting uh, the complete vastu from the complete complete vastu then only complete vastu will be remaining there if you are taking in complete vastu from the complete vastu you are getting complete vastu like the case giriraj maharaj in golok dham is getting manifested from that uh, nitya leela nitya dham onto this uh, bhom leela bhom bhom rindavan so when he is coming onto this bhom rindavan so he is not giriraj maharaj that same giriraj maharaj no it's not like that that giriraj maharaj is actually transcendently there in this braj dham but this our uh, conception that in bhom rindavan we can see that giriraj maharaj is actually coming on this bhom rindavan but still that giriraj maharaj is there on uh, in the tra- transcendental world as well it means that uh, from if you are taking uh, one giriraj maharaj and from infinity giri maharaj you are taking infinite giriraj maharaj from that that still that giriraj maharaj will stay there 
in the same way that uh, transcendental yamuna dev yamuna ji is there in that transcendental dham but that same yamuna actually is coming and manifesting in this bomb vrindavan it doesn't mean that uh, uh, the chinmay yamuna will just get reduced in the transcendental dham it's not like that this conception is totally uh, misjudged so all uh, actually the every limb and organ of krishna is uh, krishna himself it is totally complete you understand the point what i'm speaking that all chit vritti what we can find all chit vritti it is actually all all the time present in uh, uh, krishna so this bhagwan is actually akhand akhand tattva bhagwan is akhand tattva akhand purna tattva bhagwan is and jivatma and jivatma and krishna both are actually chit swarup jivatma and uh, and jivatma is chit swarup is all that all the same qualitatively qualitatively they are all the same but still where is the actual difference that that all chit samuh who actually coming from that transcendental jivatma swarup that that in very very uh, fine form those jivatma infinitesimally are present that in jivatma swarup and in anurup and vibhu and vibhu krishna and uh, in krishna it is there in the vibhu swarup uh, is present there that anandamay gyanmay chinmay prakashmay everything is there that what is there in krishna everything all qualities are there in the jivas but only infinitesimally small it is present in all the jivas it is there in the jivatma the and that same it that uh, trans- transcendental qualities are there in the jivas but in krishna it is present in vibhu swarup very enlarged form about this i have already told you na oi satya sa samagra sa vijya sa sada sriyo gyana vairagya sa yuga saru iti bhago in krishna all the kind of infinity qualities are there in vibhu swarup but in the jivas that all the infinity qualities are there in krishna in vibhu swarup that is uh, krishna's vaibhav is infinite krishna's opulences are infinite and krishna's leela is actually infinite and uh, hari is infinite and hari's swarup is also infinite so that's all, already it's written there the chit that just by getting the shuddh chit swarup when you're getting that chit swarup when jivas are actually doing bhajan and that getting that shuddh chit swarup they are getting that after getting that transcendental chit swarup that uh, they can understand that e- each and every jivas is actually getting uh, uh, manifested in anu swarup he will manifest that that krishna kripa thus by getting the krishna kripa that chid haladini on he is getting and uh, getting the haladini bal haladini power he is just getting and he is getting the krishna kripa on the basis of krishna kripa gradually the jivas get the jivas getting the power of collecting the power of haladini shakti inside jivas also that infinite uh, uh, manifestation can get uh, manifested by krishna kripa gradually by just uh, collecting the chid haladini power when it is getting collected in the jivas slowly steadily all those jivas in the form of haladini shakti swarup what is getting collected inside the jivas <coughs> the jivas also can get that infinity anand inside their heart what and infinity qualities can also get inside that particular jiva just by the kripa of that infinite bhagwan but he will be getting the actual place onto the lotus feet of that anant also you understand the point that infinity if we are getting the place at the lotus feet of that infinite bhagwan absolute truth definitely our relationship will also will get established with bhagwan by achintya veda ve tatva but still sometimes that by some actual special vishesh vishay that uh, bhagwan is the topmost worshipable object that is the topmost worshipable object and the topmost worshipable and adhipati and worshipable object and krishna avatar is the topmost and it is getting manifested in front of us all the jivas so that we can uh, so those who are 
दैट इन्फिनिटी रूप माधुरी लीला माधुरी गुण माधुरी ऑफ कृष्ण वेणु माधुरी ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ फोर टाइप्स ऑफ माधुरी वॉट अ कृष्णा इज हैविंग इट इज नॉट एट ऑल वी कैन फाइंड इन नारायण ऑल्सो इट इज मिसिंग इन नारायण यू कैनॉट फाइंड इन द पुरुष अवतार एज वेल बट दैट शंकर भगवान एटसेट्रा ऑल्सो देवा ब्रह्मा जी नो दीज क्वालिटीज दीज काइंड ऑफ माधुरीज यू कैनॉट गेट इन दैम ओनली इन श्री कृष्ण नंद नंदन कृष्ण इट इज एक्चुअली देयर एंड वॉट टू स्पीक अबाउट दैट इन्फानाइट एसिमली स्मॉल जीवास हु आर वेरी सो मच स्मॉल इन्फानाइट एसिमली स्मॉल दे आर वॉट टू स्पीक ऑफ दोज जीवास दे आर ब्रह्मा जी शंकर जी ऑल्सो दे आर नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ इवन नारायण ऑल्सो इज नॉट एट ऑल हैविंग दिस ऑफ क्वालिटीज इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल सो हाउ सो वे आर ऑल दिज इन्फानाइट एसिमली स्मॉल जीवास वाई वी कैन कंपेयर दैट दैट दे वी कैन फाइंड दैट सेम क्वालिटीज ऑफ भगवान इन दैम इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल how it can be possible and uh, in forward we are going and we will be just speaking that brahma ji speaking a very nice shloka in front of that in that infinity uh, jeevas of this uh, material creation that may be are having some doubts and faults we are getting regarding krishna in order to find that solution brahma ji maharaj has just made the solution in this shloka what is that shloka आवर मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दिस इज द एक्चुअल नेचर दैट बाय आवर एयर्स वी कैन हेयर ऑल्सो एंड वी आर वी कैन सी ऑल्सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल क्वालिटी ऑफ कृष्ण दैट्स वाई दिस इज दृश्य वा दैट इज द एक्चुअल क्वालिटी ऑफ स्नेक दैट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ स्नेक बाई हिज आईज ही कैन हियर एंड ही कैन स्पीक ऑल्सो इन द मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इफ इट इज पॉसिबल दैन हाउ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन द ट्रांसेंडेंटल वर्ल्ड यू टेल मी What actually it's written here? Aitam achutam anadi manantarupam adyam purana purusham navajovanancho vedeshu durlabam adurlabam atma bhakto gavindam adi purusham tamaham bajami vedo kavi by the vedas also. that it is actually agamme for vedas as well very very rare for vedas that agamme means again okay, agamme for vedas means you haven't understood that i have already told you previously just that vedas and ishwar there is not at all any difference that bhagwan as the vedas vedas are bhagwan but how you are actually speaking like this now that is the actual agam of vedas vedas agamme it is actually written here by because all the vedas when you are actually uh, listening and hearing also and reading all those veda if you didn't get the actual absolute truth you haven't understand you will be in confusion to get to understand that absolute truth just the, he is actually the agamya for all the vedas agamya means that after just reading all the vedas uh, there is some confusion people are getting inside their heart they haven't they cannot understand what is actually is bhagwan what is that absolute truth but that just by and how, how many rishi munis have just uh, read uh, vedas but in actual form he cannot get uh, who is actually absolute truth may be very rare by the actual kripa of uh, uh, bhagwan they could understand that in the previous life of the rishis you can see their uh, hairs are becoming so much hard and they have just uh, done sam ved yajur ved rig ved everything they are reading it very long but now today persons they are don't have this much power to read this they don't have the capacity to read all the vedas each and every branch if you will read you will become mad so much long it is impossible to read all the vedas so 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 advaitam achyutam anadi manantarupam adyam purana purusham navajovanancho vedeshu durlabham adurlabham atma bhakto just by reading Vedas also, but still, 
बट द ऑल दैट ऑल बाय टोटल प्योर आत्म भक्ति बाय अनन्य भक्ति प्योर अनन्य भक्ति वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट हु इज भगवान वेरी इजीली वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज भगवत तत्व इन भागवतम ऑल्सो लॉट ऑफ श्लोक अज आर देयर रिगार्डिंग दिस एंड लॉट ऑफ श्लोक अज आर देयर इन भागवतम एज वेल लॉट ऑफ श्लोक अज आर देयर इन भागवतम Lot of shlokas are there in Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, Mahapuran. Lot of places the shlokas are there regarding this. There actually it is written that maybe Bhagwan actually is Ajit. Nobody can conquer Bhagwan. It may. That by the actual grip of Bhagwan, only and only, and by the pure, pure Guru Vishnu's blessing, only we can understand Bhagwan. Otherwise, by our own individual efforts, it you cannot know what is that absolute truth at all. Your uh, personal efforts are all vain to know about that absolute truth. So that should the Atma Bhakti. That should the Atma Bhakti means that should the Ananya Bhakti by pure Ananya Bhakti only. This Adi Purush Govind, you can understand that completely. And by other process, is it not at all possible to understand? Kunti Devi also has told the same point. Kunti Devi Ji, Kunti Devi Ji has told the same point also. That nobody can know you at all. You are this complete absolute truth. Only and only by pure Guru Vishnu of the association and their kripa, you, nobody can know. It is not at all possible to understand you at all. So, the actual agamme of Vedas, just by pure Shuddh Bhakti, you can understand Bhagwan, the absolute truth, in his absolute way. That same Adi Purush, you, uh, that same Adi Purush Govind, I am actually worshiping him. That is called Adde Gyan Tattva. This his name is Adhyatma Gyanatta, Achyut Anadi, an Infinity Swarup Adya. All are his names. That the name of Bhagwan is there. That uh, Puran Purush, and it is very much strange to understand this. That same Puran Purush, that is Adya Purush, is there. That is so much uh, old and ancient that even if you can't. Uh, Can't count that infinity counting you can and estimation you can make, but still, Bhagwan is actually infinite. You cannot estimate him at all by his estimate because he is anadi, you know, from very ancient and very infinitely old. But still, it looks like one and the same, just like very new. All the time, it just uh, looks very new to us. We look, it looks very young and fresh to us, just by seeing it. So much attractive he is looking. That Bhagwan's age, that each and every lila of Bhagwan, whatever you see, Pogand lila or that his uh, childhood lila is also transcendental in nature. Each and every lila of Bhagwan is transcendental in nature. So, all the time, that. That very topmost beautiful attractive body Bhagwan is having, that Sachidan and the Vigre, and nobody can compare him with anyone. Nobody can estimate his beautifulness and cannot compare uh, his beautifulness with anything else. Not at all possible to estimate and to compare with it any anything which is material. So, Kunti Devi actually also speaking the same thing that Prabhu. And Deva Huti, all, Maya also speaking the same thing. Mother Deva Huti, that uh, that I am such a fallen lady, and such a fallen lady, how I can understand you? At you are infinity. That all actually is getting attracted towards this material Maya, and by the 
unknowledgeableness that topmost divyagyan is actually getting uh, uh, hidden that brahma knowledge is hidden by that uh, knowledge of material maya what you can do maya uh, knowledge of ignorance and kunti devi also speaking that nobody can know you at all you are the only and only infinity purush you are the only topmost infinity purush and that nishkinchan uh, uh, bhagwan you are tam akinchana bhucharam tam akinchana bhucharam that you are actually is by only by an akinchan bhagwan and devotees you are actually worshiped by all those akinchan devotees otherwise nobody nobody else can understand and know you at about your glorification kunti devi ji actually speaking janma shabjo suto si bi re do mano madah apmano naiva arhati avidatum bai tam akinchan bhucha by your birth and very topmost upper kul that topmost webhav that very topmost knowledgeable he is still he is actually th- by looking also is very beautiful but kunti devi is speaking that even by all these symptoms if one individual is have jivatma is getting but still by that person cannot Uh, individual jivatma he will be his false ego will become more and more increase it will increase day by day and by his false ego he cannot understand your tattva at all that absolute tattva that what is there in the upanishads already written that uh, bhagwan thinking that uh, he is mine that thing that bhagwan is uh, speaking uh, on his own and speaking that he is mine that you are mine when bhagwan is speaking that means that he can only know about that absolute truth in complete otherwise others can't know at all jam eva isha tena labhyo jam eva isha brinite tena labhyo jisko varan karta that who is actually doing varan when in the in the gayatri we are speaking this savitur varanyam i am very slightly i am just speaking because in openly totally i'll speak i how i can speak it is not at all possible because this is mantra no i can't speak it loudly it is just strictly prohibited to speak in uh, in fully i can't speak that but this is the actual uh, all guru were actually speaking this the actual instructions of them so on their instruction i am actually speaking in front of you फॉरगिव मी भिदते हृदय गंती शिदंते शर्व संशय कियंते चास कर्माणि दृष्टो नेवात्मनीश्वरी वाञ्छकल्पतुरुषिके पासिन्दु बेच पतितानं पावन भो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमः